Alright guys, uh, new project here. Instructions won't be clear because I'm making up as I go, but uh, you can see I have a two foot by six foot board. Um, we're going to make a desk and I'm going to drill a hole in the center in the back and that is actually going to be to, con uh, to hold all of uh, a monitor stand. I'm also going to drill a hole on the side. I'm not sure if I want to do the right or the left. Chances are I will do the right because I plan on putting the computer on the right hand side. Um, that it will be for a special grommet for USB. Um, then I'm going to stain it. Okay, and we're going to put another board right here off the back. Um, and that is going to be uh, like a little stand on the back of it to give it, a, you know, an end. But I uh, haven't gone through the particulars yet, um, but it will be going up. I ordered a uh, electric desk uh, adjustable height thing to put under this. This should work for it because 23 inches is the minimum. So this is a 24 inch desk. I think this will work out well. We're gonna stain it all weathered gray, um, but it should be good to go. Uh, since I don't have any particulars, I'm not going to bore you with any of the details because I don't have them. All right, guys. You can see I have the other board um, clamped down. We're going to drill a grommet right in the middle, uh, well, a hole, and uh, the monitor stand will be attached to this. Um, this is where we're actually drilling. But uh, I'll also have enough room to run the power as well. So, uh, let me jump into that. Oh, that's not what I want. All right, guys, you can see I got the grommets drilled. These are both going to be equal for the monitor stand. That is going to be for USB hub. So, I'm going to go ahead and start staining it. I have uh, some leftover weather stain. So, this is polyurethane in it, so one coat should work. I don't want to go too dark. It's going to be gray, so it should work. All right, you can see I stained the boards, just give it that uh, weathered gray look. Um, I did one quick coat. Um, the top part I'm going to have to flip over and do again um, just because that'll be exposed. I'm not going to do the bottom of the desk because obviously it's going to be under the desk, so uh, why bother? But uh, we'll do the other one either later tonight or tomorrow. That probably won't be filmed. Um, but you can see, because I went with weathered gray, I didn't have to stain so much, or sand it, So because I wanted that rustic look to it. Um, a lot of the imperfections will be covered up. Obviously, everything that's imperfection right along this run here will be completely covered. Um, the USB slot will cover any of the roughness around that. And then... Uh, up front there will be a mouse pad so um, looking forward to getting this done it looks like it's already drying what I did was I used a um, shitty old brush that was really messed up to get it more of a rustic look and then I after it was done to evenly spread it I took some mechanics towels and uh, just went right back over it so um, that kind of gave it a little bit more of an even brush and got rid of any of the, uh, the pieces of the brush that fell off because it's an old shitty one. Um, this is Rust-Oleum. I used it on my well. It's uh, stain and primer in one. So um, I'm really excited for this. I have a little shelf that's coming that's supposed to be a weathered gray look as well. I, I don't think it's going to be uh, as brown as this one, but it'll, it'll look pretty good. So uh, that's all I got now. All right. Hey, guys. Uh... We have the desk, you can't see the bottom of it here on the floor. Um, I'm going to put the legs on and we're going to go from there. I'm not going to show you the boring part of me installing the legs, um, but I will show you once they're on. Then we're going to put some caster wheels on them uh, and then we're going to flip the thing over. And uh, I, I'm not going to show you the boring part of me putting stuff on it. Um, we're going to 
put the legs on, I'll show you how that is, we'll put the caster wheels on, and then I'm going to start installing um, the hardware and cable management on the bottom, um, and then we'll flip it over, and that's when we'll actually start putting uh, everything together. So, uh, hopefully this goes pretty quickly. Um, some reviews have said that this particular desk takes about 15 minutes to do. Other ones have said two hours. I'm hoping for 15 minutes. I'm trying to get it done on my lunch break. All right, see ya. All right, guys, this is the actual inside of the box. Um, this heavy bracket, um, but just to give you an idea, uh, I will set up the the crappy camera to record everything. It'll obviously be in fast motion, but let's jump into it. We hit this point where I got the uh, I got to put on the caster wheels. I just want to show you uh, these all have locks on them. Uh, this was about thirteen, fourteen dollars on Amazon, but you uh, click that lock, wheel no longer spins. This makes the desk mobile, um, and so if I need to move it around the room or uh, move it out of the room, makes it very simple and easy. Uh, very nice. I really like it. Um, it's not too much. It won't add too much to the, the height. So, and all I gotta do is unscrew this and screw this in. Put that right up front. You see that spins, but I'm going to lock it for right now. That's it. So I'm going to keep putting this together. Uh, I do have the other camera um, filming everything. Uh, I don't know if it's getting everything, but it's uh, going to record as much as it can. So stay tuned.
Alright guys, I got the legs on, uh, plugged it in, so let's, huh. how do you initialize? Okay, so according to this, uh, if the system doesn't work normally when we use it, we need to reset the system to make the system be initialized. Resetting procedure is as follows. Press and hold the up and down buttons together until the lifting column be the lowest and you will hear a beep. Then display shows the number for the lowest height. Then whole step finishes. All right, that is higher than I needed to be. I put it right about, let's say right about here. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll be great. Um, I'm gonna hook up the monitors here. I got a uh, couple, uh, not cup holder, uh, a grommet for this corner right here that's going to be USB. Uh, I haven't decided which side my work laptop is going to go on but my desktop is going to go on this side. I think the, de the work laptop is going to go right here just to kind of keep it all all the cords running in one direction instead of having a bunch go and split off to different ways. Um, I'm going to put a uh, SD card reader right over here I think. Eh, you know what, I might actually just mount it right here. Keep everything kind of local on this side. And then that way this side is freed up and for any future stuff. Because uh, eventually I do want to do a wireless phone charger. Um, but that isn't for a while. You can see some of the plastic from when I was staining it got stuck to this. But that's okay, it'll wear off in time. So. That's it for this part. We're going to do the second shelf next and then uh, go from there. So stay tuned because in a minute we're going to go over putting this shelf up here. So as you can see, I've already started on this. Um, what I did was I took, I have an extra one to show you, uh, I took this here. Uh, which is a flooring flange with a uh, brass pipe, not brass pipe, black, the black pipe, and then another flooring flange. This is a three and a half inch, um, to because I didn't need much. Uh, in all all honesty, uh, I really just needed to make sure that when this was on, I could fit a pop can and without getting in the way of my monitors. All right. So, anyways, uh, I've screwed these in. Um, an inch and a half from the back, giving me a little bit of uh, clearance in the front in case I want to, um, well, I mean, really, it's just, I'd rather not have anything, I'd have rather have as much in the back if I could. Uh, I'm going to eventually run RGB along the back of it, so an inch and a half is plenty of room. Um, the uh, screws that I used on this piece are actually from the fence project that I'm doing. It's from the old brackets from the fence that I'm putting up. Uh, these are white screws, so they're really ugly, but I had them laying around next to me, didn't feel like going upstairs, and uh, decided, hey, I'll throw them in, 
because this side won't be seen very often. Obviously, it's on the underside, so somebody has to get in there and look. Um, I am going to go in my garage and find some screws to put into the bottom, but essentially, and I, I don't have all of them in yet, but you can see, this is how this will sit. So, so this will sit right here. Um, pole will go through the middle as well, and that'll give it some support. Once it's screwed down, it'll actually obviously be a little more sturdy. I will bring it back up when it's time to uh, install a few more components. Hey guys, so you can see uh, there's uh, a lot of progress being made here. Um, I have the control panel. Obviously, well, you already seen that. It goes up and down. It's unplugged right now. You can see right here, I have a SD card and really just the memory card slot. It also has my micro SD in it. Uh, this is a 3.0 connection. You can see here, we also have a micro SD and regular SD memory card slot with USB connections for 3.0. This is a nice little grommet here. It'll be right in the, uh, right in the spot that I need it at. Um, or where I normally work so that'll be nice and then what I did on the far other side of the desk was I actually applied a 3.0 switch um, so you can see there's little buttons on here so what I can do is I can turn on and off instantly different things uh, that are plugged into it a headset uh, webcam anything I want to instantly disconnect I can press the button and have it disconnected. Uh, this is an Anchor one. I'm not sure about the brands on everything else. This is an Insignia. I know that um, I picked that up at Best Buy last night, forgetting that this has a micro SD reader on it. I thought it was just regular SD. And I thought, oh, it'll be convenient to have a micro SD reader that's not an adapter. And uh, now I got double the convenience because I still wanted to just so that way I can do two cards at once. So um, you can see I did screw in these here. They're not perfect, but again, this is supposed to look like it's uh, uh, worn out and all that. So uh, the, the desk is a little wobbly, but I also have it on the shitty rug. And uh, I feel like once it's off of the rug, then it'll be fine. Um, on the bottom so far, I've mounted a... Uh, workshop surge protector which is the same one that I use in my current office um, so it'll handle everything that I need um, and it's just gonna be the stuff that's on the desktop the computer will be into a, a better surge protector but this will this will have more than enough to protect the monitors and anything else that I throw onto it so this is a really nice um, setup it's even with the bar and I can see the some parts of this bar look like it's coming loose so I'll just tighten those back up but it's probably just uh, settling in so we should be good there um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is mount the monitor post which will go right through this and uh, the start of the monitors will be here they will be resting the screens on this on this board uh, not resting on it but the bottom of the screen will line up with this and then the other screens will go above it um, I think that should be more than enough room for everything to fit I got the base in here set up um, just a, a quick tip on this um, I screwed it together and then I went oh how am I gonna get it to fit through here so I had to unscrew it and screw it back uh, one thing that I am running into is uh, this little piece right here is going to block a lot of cords from coming in and out. Now, right now, I can lift this up um, and put the cords in and just run them right through this, but in the future, that's going to be a problem. So part of me is thinking of bending that, and then I can just fit cords through it right away, but I also lose a little bit of that stability, not much. So uh, I'm going to figure it out run a couple test cables through and see uh, what I can do. All right, quick update. So I went through, labeled 
and uh, or ran all the cables through, labeled them for where they're, which monitors are going to. Um, I did have to take the plate off to get everything to fit. Uh, I got really tight, and you can see I did have to bend that bracket. This is this is a tight as tight as it goes. So uh, the setup that I do is I run two video cords and a power cord to each monitor. Um, it allows me to uh, set two computers up and then when one goes to sleep mode the other one comes up. So it lets me alternate between work and play very quickly, very easily. So um, that's why I have two cables going up. So if you have a setup similar, uh, <laughs> bigger hole, um, obviously this disc will cover a lot more but uh, or a secondary hole um, but it's pretty tight so I'm gonna start sliding the brackets on making sure the cords are pulled as tight or right where they need to go and then I'm gonna tighten it up and uh, ooh, maybe start putting the monitors on alright so I went to uh, try to use the monitor to measure it up using the biggest one the Dell first it's a 23 inch Dell and uh, I noticed I haven't looked at the back of this thing in forever there's, there's no bracket there's no place to screw into so I just ordered a part from Amazon for thirty dollars to uh, essentially plug in where the stand goes and it gives me a mount so I can attach it onto here um, so wow yeah that sucks um, I'm pretty sure all my other monitors have it. I gotta look at my, uh, my Acers definitely do, because obviously they're hanging, but, uh, I got one, one other one that I gotta look at, but, um, anyways, I'm gonna get back to running the wires, but I ran into that. Um, this was a three-tier pole. With the desk all the way up, it hits the ceiling. So, um, when I measured it out, there's a little divot you can see right here. This covers about 80% of the pole. That's where I tightened it on. That's where it's going to go. So um, that's what we're at right now. It's a little off. If I would have put this in the first tier and maybe had another bracket on each side um, to hold it steady, then I would have had plenty of room for both of them. Um, but I'm going to try it with just the two. I'm going to get back to cable management, so have fun. Alright, so the cable management is done. It came with these clips here, and that held everything pretty well at the end. Uh, but there, the bracket was only a dual mount, and I took the piece off of the other bracket that I bought to make it quad. So the other bracket did not come with these. So it only had four, so I put one on each at the end, and I zip-tied, I forgot to cut these last ones on the bottom, um, I zip-tied them here, and then secured them here. This gives it a little bit more flex on here to play around, because this is a weaker clip, but this will hold it nice and sturdy. I'm going to zip-tie all of these wires together right here. At the top... Um, I did use the little cable management things that they had, but obviously not enough. Uh, even if you were only running a power cable and a, and a video cable to this, uh, you would not have enough room, because I barely have enough room with three cables in there, um, you would not have enough room to run four cables up it. So, uh, very important to know that, but um, I'm going to get this... Oh, all zip tied together and you can see down below my cables just barely reach um, good thing for the power is it's right here I mounted this little bracket there bad thing for all these ports is the computer is gonna be over there um, it's gonna be three feet away I bought six foot extensions for everything, so we should be good. Uh, I'm going to run all of this across this, well, all of it but the power across here. I bought some brackets from Home Depot. I thought they were going to be too big, but it looks like they might be too small. So, should be good there. Once that's all finished, I'll bring in the keyboard and mouse. 
uh, figure out how that's going to mount because it originally was going to go through with this. Um, as you can see, there's no way anything else is fitting in there. So I'm going to probably drill another hole right below the, uh, right at the edge where the mouse goes and run it that way. Um, I'm also going to be putting a uh, ventilated stand for my monitor right here. Um, so I could theoretically run it, or not my monitor, but my laptop. I could theoretically run it here. So, but that's gonna be the, the next thing once all the cable management is done. Um, I'm not even gonna bring the computer down until um, until everything is set up and it's literally just plug and play so so I ran into another problem here you can see this is a VGA to DVI adapter uh, this is a secondary connection for the work computer so it doesn't need to be nice that's why it's VGA and DVI because on the docking station I have there's a DVI port um, you can see next to uh, this right here there are four little pens right there that stick out. I've never noticed that before. As you can see on this extension, there are no pens there. Um, and I don't see it on any regular DVI cable. But, I have this adapter here. And I'm going to plug it in to that. Um, so what I've done is I had this USB 3.0 hub and it is being glued right now to the bottom. Um, I was going to use this um, to kind of use as a switch for my keyboard uh, and, and test it. I didn't know if it, for sure if it would work with the switch that I have currently. But uh, then I lost it found it in the trash um, this is what happens when you buy a ton of Amazon things and something small comes in a bag um, so I decided since I lost it and then and wanted to do any something else anyways um, I have three of these USB adapters that I've acquired over the years they're all 3.0 I've tested it and at least one works going through that hub um, being that the docking station is just one of those universal ones that goes through USB 3.0 anyways, this might be the best solution because no matter what, it's going to go through USB, so it's it's not going to slow it down or, or you know, you're going to have the same problems. So you can see I got the cables kind of put together. Um, all of the ones that are for my personal computer are... Um, tied together um, so there really there's just one that goes for the work computer I'm gonna grab a USB extension and put that with the work one and that there we go so this one will have three monitors powered off of this one USB device hopefully that'll work if not I can get extensions for the VGAs and go right up to it but uh, and then I'm also gonna plug my work headset into it I wanted that to be on a switch so I can alternate um, immediately, but you know it works that I have it separate anyway. So, and I can always throw it on a switch later. But for right now, that's where it's going to go. So uh, I'm going to finish cable management, and uh, then it comes down to kind of setting everything up. All right, guys, I moved the desk. I'm going to have to get the rug out from under it. Um, uh, a little bit of more cable management will be needed. But you can see that that's pretty, pretty good. Um, just more zip ties, I guess. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Um, going to set up the keyboard and mouse next. Uh, my switch is being glued on right there. Um, the cords come out the back, lead straight down into this mess. Um, but the cord, there's two cords, two sets of cords. They go through um, and connect to by by zip tie um, their proper PCs so the ones that they're supposed to go to um, 
Then we have the rest of this. You can see I got all the uh, the converters for the VGA cables and power cords. The rest of that just needs to be zip tied upward. Um, I think we're good from there though. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the desk and how everything works and functions. I'm going to take the camera off the stand and, and kind of give you a brief overview. There are some changes and there will be more to come, um, but just so you can see how everything came together, very quick overview. And there will be a video of every feature of the desk focusing just solely on on the, the, the setup of the studio. So I just want to give you a quick overview of how the desk came together. Um, I had this recorded, but I had some video problems and uh, didn't realize it until I went to edit the video, which is on the, on the screen here. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, go over it. I'll take it off the, uh, the tripod, so sorry for the unsteadiness, and, and give you a quick view. Um, do want to let you know, this still works. If I hit number four, this goes to the exact height that I need. Um, for this so it's actually really neat I like it and you can see it, it goes uh, this is the Amazo desk um, very very sturdy I mean obviously it's got a I say that and I wiggle it and it's but this is for what it is it's very good because the monitors are mounted I don't have to worry about it um, the laptop I have actually a velcro um, cover holding it to the platform which is very hard to, to slide so we got quite a bit going on with it um, but yeah let me let me take you off take you in for a closer look and uh, let's do it alright guys you can see I have the work laptop on to this little stand here which there is a video for assembling it um, but I also added this Velcro strap. It's a 36 inch strap, which just barely gets it into the right spot. But this will hold it there because obviously this is right next to the door. And so if it's right next to the door and I walk by, I'll hit it. I have already hit it, so I don't want to knock it over. Um, you can see I have all of the uh, camera, or not the cameras, the monitors mounted. Um, the bracket came in for the Dell, which I'm not sure if you'll be able to see back here, but it's a uh, little one that goes into the stand, so really nice there. Um, the cable management has been great. I have these all turned to an angle I actually didn't think I'd like, and I do enjoy it. Um, and also, normally, the Dell is my main monitor, and right there in the center, but I found that I really like it on the right. And I end up using my little AOC monitor here quite a bit. Um, nothing to do with politics. It's it's AOC as a brand, um, but uh, yeah. So I mean, not everything is a hundred percent yet, but you can see I have my USB adapter, which I've already shown you, and my SD card reader here. But you can also see I have another uh, USB adapter here. This one is just for 2.0. I figured, you know, not everything needs 3.0. And I should have this available. And I actually have an old phone cord plugged into it. Because um, I'm fixing a couple old, old phones to maybe replace my shit camera. So the nice thing about this adapter is it also has it on the side. So then I added another USB hub here. And this has two USB 3.0s on here. And you might be asking why I put this one on the side and why I didn't have it up front like this. Well, I bought the adapter so I could plug in both of those hubs. And I figured I might as well make it usable, so I put it right here. So we have that. Uh, I did bring my speakers down. I thought about replacing them, but they, they work really well. So these are in here. These are not part of any cable management at all. So you'll see cords hanging. I just threw them on there because I'm not done yet. So uh, you'll also see the um, the mouse and keyboard go right through here. This also has my cord for my microphone, which is completely unplugged right now. So 
you, you can see it's all right there, ready to go. Uh, I have this little quartz plate here, uh, which is where I put my drinks. Um, I'm, it, it, obviously it's movable, um, but I, I've been keeping it right here. Uh, it actually does help keep the drinks cold and keeps rings off of my brand new table. So uh, again, my fan featured right there. Uh, one thing that I really like about this is actually we're going to come under the desk and you're going to see I have this right here. This little switch, you can see that one little light was off. Well, that is for my fan. So that turns my fan on. It's not in an ideal position, but it's going to get moved around a little, a little bit. You can see right there. Um, but not only does it control my fan, I have another one that turns off my mouse pad because the mouse pad button has 14 options before you can put it off and I found that annoying. The other two buttons control the microphone and the webcam so I can't be government spied on. Um, the uh, I haven't figured out how to use the mouse and keyboard lights yet and customize them. I'd like to do that. But all in all, this is a, a, a great setup. Um, I'm going to show you the, the cable management a little bit here. You can see my headset is right there because um, I have plenty of room to go anywhere across the desk. But uh, I zip tied it there. I'm going to have my other headset put in the same way. These are uh, not my main headset, but they were down in the basement, and I I like them. So um, they're just temporary. I did get a, like, a little mount here to hold both sets. Um, I could probably fit two sets on each side if I really wanted to. Um, you can see I have a little extension cord here. I was plugging in uh, a few lights and cameras. My phone is actually plugged in through that because despite it all, None of this is uh, fast charge. Um, there is a few wires down here. Let's see. Yeah, okay, you can see it. You can see a few wires dangling, but it's it's pretty well kept. Um, I did run into a problem with connecting my work laptop to a uh, USB. Um, I had a USB 3.0 Type A to B, and... Uh, it would not carry the signal of all four monitors over. Um, I did have a repeater that I bought for a completely different purpose and I connected that and that is what you see on the ground there next to my base. Um, I connected that, it worked fine and I haven't had a chance to actually run the cable management on it. So um, we're gonna come over here and look at the cable management um, a little bit closer so you can see I have three taped cords. And why did I use tape? It was available. Um, one is the main display, which I believe is this one right here. Um, this is everything, actually, four cables, yeah. So this is everything that uh, goes to my main computer that is for display. The other one is I want to say, is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. Okay, this one here is everything that goes to my work computer. This all goes into a docking station, which then goes into a USB, which goes to my work computer. So that actually works out really conveniently. Um, I'm really happy with the way that, that that all goes. It's about four cables tops. Um, then the last one is all USB to my computer. So USB 2.0 and 3.0 all flow into that. You can see down here, it's all kind of strapped in. Um, my mouse and keyboard wires are loose because I didn't want to tighten them too much until I was 100% ready. The, the work laptop comes up and it goes into this little uh, side USB that connects to the adapter. Um, I could put the full thing in there, but I, I felt it was better right there. This sign next to me, is echoing my voice. 
Um, I brought in my uh, own adapter which has changeable ends so even if I do switch out my uh, laptop I can just swap the end to a new laptop so um, you can see that is actually just screwed in right here um, one of my big brackets actually worked perfect for that so yeah lots of cable management um, really really good uh, I, I haven't decided exactly where this is gonna go but I'm, I'm thinking um, against this wall and I may flip everything to the other side uh, as far as cable management goes um, for the uh, computer because everything's going to the right um, I may want it to go to the left I, I haven't decided that I, I may put everything on the right and then move the um, the work laptop to the right because uh, I can do that and then I'd have this this open hole right here um, so there's 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 a lot to be done all right so I hope you enjoyed that video um, I'm going to be putting a few more things in uh, I, I, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you learned how to put a desk together, together and that there's a few things that you might have thought of that I didn't, um, or this might have helped you uh, realize some issues that I would run into that you, uh, you wouldn't have think, thought of. So, um, if you did like the video, hit like, hit subscribe. I know it's a, a really long one. Um, so I'm not going to break it into a two-parter. I really thought about it. But, you know, I like it. I, I really do hope that you enjoy it. Uh, let's uh, sign off. I don't have anything to drink or eat, so I'm just going to ramble on until you get tired and bored and hit that like and subscribe button and go ahead and comment and tell me what to build next and something else. And, yeah, you do that. I don't know what I am saying.